What's dirty guys? My name is Automan and welcome to the 24th episode of Would You Rather, a weekly series where I answer uh, your guys' Would You Rather questions as well as random ones around the web, uh, particularly from YouRather.com. And uh, if you want to submit your own Would You Rather question, feel free to do so by leaving it in the comment section down below. I'll pick a couple of them, probably no more than five of them, and uh, I'll uh, answer them in the next in next week's episode <clears throat> without further ado let's move forward to your guys submitted would you rather questions and uh zach chief zach's chief i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong i probably did he asked would you rather have x-ray vision or the power to read minds um oh see i don't know see if i had the power to read minds i could uh you know It'll make, I want to say it'll make, it'll make life easier, I guess you can say, because I'll be able to read people, you know, just like that, and not have any kind of problem, you know, if, if I'm going for a job interview, I can read their minds and know what it is exactly they're looking for, or the right answer to the question they ask, and, you know, I think that's what I think. Of course, there are going to be a lot of things that I would possibly not want to know. I could be, you know, listening in on someone's mind who I... I like, like, you know, a girl that I like, and she could just sit there and trash me the whole time, or, you know, even, even with, like, you know, my best friend who might have some kind of thought in his head, like, wow, Artemis a stupid fucking loser, and that's the kind of things I don't really want to hear, but if I have x-ray vision, now, does that mean, like, I can see through, through walls? Can I see through clothing? Or if I, or does that mean I'm gonna not only see through clothing, but I'm gonna see through people too? Because if I can see through clothing, I might pick X-ray vision. <laughs> but uh, I think I, I, I don't know personally. As awesome as that sounds to be able to see through walls and be, see through clothing and stuff like that, I think I would much rather be able to read minds. I think it'd be more beneficial for me um, in life, really. I mean, think of, like, uh, the awesome things you can do with it. You can troll people. Uh, who knows? You could probably even become a superhero. I want to be a superhero. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going with that one. Thanks for submitting your question there. Uh, the next one comes in from Rule Standards, who asks, Would you rather suck a woman's dick or a man's vagina? By the way, this was made up because, of course, women don't have dicks, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think, <sighs> would I rather suck a woman's dick... Or eat a man's vagina. So I'm making the assumption that these are like legitimate. Like when I, when you say suck a woman's dick, and it actual it actually is a woman, but she was born with a dick, and it actually is a man with a vagina. Um, that's a tough one. That's a really, really, really hard one to answer because I, I think I I'll, I'll, I'll go with the woman's dick. I know this going to sound really gay, but I think just because a lot of the times I'm more physically attracted to women. Um, but I, I, I'm just trying to picture like a man with a vagina and, you know, him being, uh, possibly hairy and a bit disgusting and smelling like I'm a guy. I know how guys are. I mean, maybe if he was a beautiful man, I, I can't think of any men that are beautiful off the top of my head, but I think, I mean, I would have more, you know, I'm look, long story short, I'm going to, it's like a woman's dick, but if I'm going to be with her, it's, we're going to primarily do anal. <laughs> oh my god, that's so gay. Next question comes in from the phase 20121 who asks, Would you rather have the most subs on YouTube but get the most hate or have the least amount of subs but no hate? Uh, well, see, technically st uh, saying, like, when you say least amount of subs, it means I have no subs, which means no one's watching my videos, which would be why I get no hate. Um... And really, what I want from YouTube is a lot of subs, and <laughs> a lot of subs, a lot of viewers, pretty much a lot of friends, you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I think I would much rather have, um, you know, people watching my videos and have the most subs on YouTube and get the most hate, because I know, like, I'll get, yeah, I'll get a lot of hate, but I bet you there's going to be more um, fans, more subscribers that are, that actually enjoy my content over the people who hate my content. So I would probably take the most subs on YouTube over the least amount of subs um, and hate and all that stuff. Uh, next one comes in from Quino Siopongo. I, I still haven't learned how to say that. Yeah. <laughs> he asks, would you rather be a dragon slayer or be a dragon? Hmm. See, if, if, I was, if I was to be a dragon, I would be like this big-ass motherfucker. But I don't know how, who could probably breathe fire and all that shit and fly. But I don't know how I would fit in with society. Because I think everyone would be hunting me. I mean, 
especially like poachers. Like, can you imagine like being able to make clothing out of dragon skin or something like that? Or people wanting to hunt me down just to research me? Uh, who knows? My blood might have a cure, and that's what they're after. A cure for something, I don't know. Something uncurable right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, but if I was a dragon slayer, I'd be pulling in all the bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just think people would think higher of me if I was a dragon slayer. I mean, I mean, just think of it like, you know, busting, busting down doors and stuff like that with your sword and shield. Or I guess in, in this, uh, okay, I'm making assumptions. This is back in the day when, you know, dragons were around I guess you know I have a sword and shield and I'm killing a dragon you know that's gonna get those women's panties wet don't fuck around so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a dragon slayer <laughs> alright last one from you guys comes in from Grenzilla which was actually la uh, asked uh, two episodes ago but I figured I will answer this one he wants to know would you rather vomit to the point of death or have diarrhea to the point of death um, this one I think was probably really easy. I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys will agree with me here. But uh, to have uh, to you know shit yourself to death. I mean, can you imagine how embarrassing that would be? Not like not only for your. I know you're uh, you're dead, but I mean like uh, just like someone finding your body, like leaned over on the toilet and just massive amount of shit and blood everywhere in the toilet. I mean that's really embarrassing. And then like when your friend asks. Uh, you know your parents how he died how you know how Arnie died he'll be like your parents will have to be like oh he shit himself to death you know that's just one of those humiliating things that you don't want you know it's like uh, what was it? I think it was one of the Jurassic Parks where the guy was in the outhouse and the Tyrannosaurus Rex came down and just bit him while he's taking his shit <laughs> uh, that's what I imagine anyways it's just really embarrassing it's like getting hit by a bull and then your pants fall down you know what I mean and just everyone's there to laugh at you but uh but vomiting to death it's not that embarrassing it is probably almost as gross but i mean it's just like you know he probably had some kind of disease that he was dying of i mean i don't know i can't really think of anything uh disease wise where you would shit yourself to death but i'm pretty sure there's somewhere you can vomit yourself to death i don't know but yeah i'm going with that one it seems i, I think i'd much rather have the pain in my throat than my ass <laughs> All right, moving on to the uh, yourather.com questions. Would you rather have 50% of your body burned or 100% of your body tattooed? Um, see, the, the that's actually I was gonna say the, the the tattoo one sounds less painful because you know having your body burned, but then again, getting a tattoo. is just as painful. But I think after a while, you know, like 20% of your body, and you get used to it uh, I am against I want well, I'm not gonna say against tattoos but I'm not fond of getting tattoos I, I think they're it's too much of a commitment I guess you could say uh, especially like you know if you get like your favorite band on your shoulder and then or you're on your arm or something and then your band splits up they become you know they sell out or they become something that's not you anymore then you kind of have like this worthless thing on your arm or like, you get your girlfriend or boyfriend's name tattooed on you then you guys split up you know what I mean um, or like, you know, like, and just picture like you, you get something on you and then, you know, you're 80 now and your tattoo is wrinkly as fuck. It doesn't even look like what you got in the first place. So, uh, I think I'd much rather have, I just can't think of, I, I think of myself, because I think if, if I get tattooed, I could make myself look good. But if 50% um, of my body is burnt, I mean, that's like disgusting looking, you know what I mean? So... Uh, next question, would you rather, uh, yeah, so i much rather get 100% of my body tattooed. Uh, would you rather always speak in Pig Latin <laughs> or always speak in Shakespeare dialogue? Why the fuck not? I would always, uh, rather always speak in di uh, Shakespeare dialogue. I'm pretty sure I can pull in some bitches with that. Uh, would you rather be known, uh, sorry, be known as the all-time greatest, would you rather be, uh, mathematician or a writer a writer uh, I hate math math is stupid but with you know being a writer I can expand my mind and put it down on paper and everyone can enjoy it. but I mean I, I find if I sit there and try to explain numbers to people they would just fall asleep on me <laughs> I don't know uh, would you rather drink and drive or smoke and fly I, I don't understand it and when you say smoke you mean like smoke marijuana and then you know you're like hallucinating flying or something? <laughs> I don't know. Or, or do you mean like get high and fly up 
an airplane. Um, see, if that's the case, if, if I'm getting high and flying an airplane, I think I could hurt more people if I'm flying an airplane. You know, crash it down in a city. I mean, I can kill hundreds of people. But if I'm drinking and driving, there's a good chance that... Uh, you know, I'm only going to hurt one people, but, however, if I'm smoking and flying, usually there's a co-pilot, and if I'm all, like, high and out of my head, uh, my, I'm pretty sure my co-pilot could save me, so I think I'm going to smoke and fly. I don't know. That's what I'm going with. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave your would you rather questions in the comment section down below. And uh, click that like button or the dislike button, and uh, subscribe to me if you haven't already. And follow me on Twitter, all you guys don't. And as always, stay dirty.